we defined the cosine and the sine. What about the other four standard trigonometric functions? We'll quickly run through those. We won't define them in terms of the unit circle, or at least not directly. Instead, we'll define them in terms of the cosine and the sine, starting with the tangent, which is the most important of the remaining four trig functions by a significant distance. After the tangent, we'll define the secant. After the sine, cosine, and tangent, the secant is the most important trig function. And what we're going to see when we get into the meat of this course is that the secant inherits its importance from the tangent. When we do calculus with tangents, secants appear. The remaining two trig functions are significantly less important, but you should at least know what they are. The cosecant is one divided by the sine. Make sure not to get the secant and the cosecant confused. You might think cosecant, you might hear cosecant and think cosine. That's not the case, as you see. The sine goes with the cosecant, the cosine goes with the secant. Finally, the cotangent. And the way these functions are named is probably going to seem very arbitrary. There is method to this madness, but the cotangent is one divided by the tangent. And it is the only co-function that is defined this way. The cosecant is not one divided by the secant. The cosine is not one divided by the sine. The cotangent is one divided by the tangent, which you could also write as the cosine divided by the sine. <laughs>